Well, I ended up as what they call the key man on the third floor, uh, the studio floor. I worked at night um, operating the, the uh, uh, reception desk, really, on the third floor. And uh, initially, when I uh, went to work, the first night I went to work at NBC, I recall it very clearly, um, I lived in Great Neck at the time, and I got a phone call. I had applied for a job on the page staff uh, several months before, and in, I believe it was September, I got a call on a Sunday afternoon uh, asking me if I still wanted to be an NBC page, and I said yes. And they said, well, come into New York right away this afternoon, and uh, we'll put you to work. And I went in, I was fitted into a uniform, and my first assignment was the Eddie Cantor Show, which was in 8H, the big studio at NBC. And I went up on, to 8H, and the man who was, the page who was running the uh, reception of the audience, uh, came up to me and said, have you ever done this before? And I said, no. He said, all right, well, I'm going to tell you what we want you to do. You go down and stand at the end of the middle aisle right in front of the stage, and you'll notice there are, to your right, eight seats that are taped off. Those are for Mr. Cantor's personal guests. You don't give those to anybody except Mr. Canner's guests. And I said, fine. And I stood there, and they let the audience in, in the studio. And uh, uh, the fellow who was taking tickets at the front of the studio came running down to my station in the middle, uh, in front of the stage, and said, have you got any seats left? And I said, well, there are some seats right over here he said, I'm going to send eight people down. And he did. And I, I didn't know f uh, what to do about it. I just let them sit down in, in those seats. The show started. Eddie Canner came out, did his warm-up, and I stood in the back of the studio, and I enjoyed every minute of it. And after the show ended, uh, people filed out, and a man walked up to me and identified himself as the night manager of NBC. And he said, Mr. Cantor would like to see you. I said, Mr. Cantor wants to see me? My first night on, in the business? He said, yes. So uh, he said, come with me. And he takes me around behind the stage to a dressing room, knocks on the door, a boy says, come in. We walk in. And Cantor is pacing up and down, and he's in high dudgeon. And he looks at me and says, Are you the stupid son of a bitch who gave away my personal seats? My people had to sit in a balcony. I said, I didn't, had no idea that I was supposed to hold him. And I just stood there riveted in fear as Cantor was, was yelling at me. And the night manager took me by the arm and said, come on, kid, uh, let's get out of here. But we left the dressing room, and we walked down the hall, and he said, kid, I don't know how long you're going to be in this business, but as long as you are, remember one thing, all talent is, and he used a four-letter word, uh, which means refuse. <laughs> And I'll never forget that, my first night in the business. <laughs> After that, was it smooth sailing? Did you have any Yes. <laughs> it went fine. Uh, they had an announcer school that I, enlist, I uh, took part in. And as a matter of fact, that stood me in good stead later on in, in uh, my career.